Game started. Gone sailing. Let's try C4. I haven't played that in a while. C4, knight f6. Let's go with the knight. Knight c3. Hmm. So he's setting up a counter fianchetto. This is the English. <clears throat> the English defense to the English opening. Let's see if I play um, g3 immediately. He can put his bishop there, but I can block it with the knight. And let's see if he wants to take and damage my pawn structure. I guess not. <clears throat> Okay, chose not to do that, so I'll put my bishop here. I mean, he's giving up a good piece to damage my pawn structure, so maybe it's not, maybe it's not such a great way to play, but it's an idea. And now, so he's got the double fianchetto. I don't want <clears throat> to set up a completely symmetrical position. I want to get a little bit of uh, tension. So how about um, just playing with d3 and maybe bishop? The bishop out along this file. I could even play um, e4 here. Might be interesting. <clears throat> it's, it would be like a Botvinnik setup, except my knight is on um, f3 instead of uh, e2. Not quite the same. I'm not keeping control of. Uh, well, I guess I have as much control over d4. I'm not supporting this knight. And I'm not going to the f4 square. I guess those are the differences. So now, bishop to... Um, if I play bishop uh, g5, he can just play h6 and kick it. If I play bishop e3, he can play knight to g5. But maybe that's... Let's think about this. Bishop <coughs> e3, knight g4. And bishop could go to f4. And then he could kick it with a pawn. Let's play h3, keeping his knight out of g4, and then play bishop e3. He's going to drop his bishop in here or here. And uh, with this setup, I pretty much have to allow that. I can, I can try and make it difficult for a little bit. I wanted to go to e3 anyway, so that I could play this uh, exchange here. Although I'm starting to wonder if this exchange is such a great idea. <laughs> Because uh, this bishop is blocked in, right? So it has nowhere to go from there. Maybe bishop here. Hitting the knight. So he ignores that. It's just a pin. Um, I'm going to take that knight. I don't like it there. And then I'm going to place my knight there. And see if he wants to give up his bishop. I mean, this is pressure on his knight. I think it sort of forces this exchange. So I've got the bishop pair. Um, he's got a, a knight in a blocked position that might be good. So can I get away with a move like f5 and try and open things up for the bishops? Let's see. F, f4, rather. He could play h... I play f4 and he plays h6. I take the knight, I guess. But then I've given up the bishop here. And the bishop has nowhere to go. All dressed up and nowhere to go. Let's give the bishop some squares. So now it's possible to play f5, f4. <coughs> and if he uh, plays h6, I can come back around this way. And uh, looks interesting. He has a rook on the c-file, and I don't at the moment. I can contest that at any time, however. He hasn't really won the c-file. Um, I just didn't want to put a rook there immediately, because it would result in a trade. A bunch of trades would not really help me in this position. Okay, his knight is unpinned, but uh, I don't think it has too many squares to go to. Let's take this pawn and uh, give myself a passed pawn here if he takes with the pawn. I have a protected passer, and if he takes with the rook... Let's see. Oh, I'm also hitting his knight. Bishop and uh, rook are coordinating to attack his knight. So I moved his knight away. Ah, so I picked up a pawn here. What's the best way to proceed here? Bishop f6. 
Knight takes pawn takes. Would we'll drive him back even further. Hmm. Yeah, it's not clear though. Or I could take over here on uh, e6. d6 rather. Just picking up another pawn and asking him how how is he going to continue from here. So now I could put a rook on the c-file and just trade everything off and uh, should be a <coughs> winning endgame with these extra pawns here. If I don't count, I don't count my... Uh, <laughs> uh, this is interesting. So um, if he takes here and uh, I can play Um, d7, forking his two knights, so he's not really threatening to take. So why don't I... Um, maybe I'll play this way. Just trading off a piece. <clears throat> Hitting his knights. I think he's kind of forced to trade. Decided to go for that. Okay. Now does he have a check? There's no check. So I can take the bishop first and play uh, d7. Of course, that's defended by his queen, but the thing is um, his queen is also defending the knight. Black so, resigns. Yeah, it's a distraction for the queen. It can't do both things. I was picking up a piece there. So, cute game. I will uh, upload this and challenge. do a postmortem. See you guys later. Bye.